Hello and welcome! I'm It's Piano and you're watching Cross Clone. Okay, so Lee's not a clone per se, but she's close. Anyway, hey. Right, right. Um, they have a lot of things planned? Okay, but something's gonna happen on the deck. What do you have to say? Didn't that boy want to spend time with you? Dot dot dot. Alright, we're doing this then. Don't make me regret this. Hi! Thanks for coming to Sam. I mean, Lee? Hello, so the pseudo-robot has to actually return. Dot dot dot. Please stop calling her that. She is an actual person with a name. Mm-hmm. Lee! Alright then, Lee. My colleague and I have a little discussion over how well instant matter-based avatars can handle water. To my knowledge, instant matter easily evaporates when in contact with water. That's why swimming was never an option with the technology. But he claims that it can actually withstand decent amounts of water. Right, Lee was totally fine when it started raining last time she was here, I saw it myself. Well, a bit of rain maybe, but let's see how she handles slightly larger amounts of water. How? Quite simple. Please stand at this point here for a moment. You are about to get dunked, aren't you? Dot dot dot. Why? No worries, you'll see. Alright, we're ready! Sploosh. <laughs> Sorry, they talked me into it. Why? Sorry, Lee, but you see, she didn't evaporate. Hmm, I have to admit, I didn't expect this. But that was just a small bucket. Now let's try the larger one. <laughs> Please, just one more time. Do it for the science! Alright, second bucket! And there she goes. <gasps> ah, see? It couldn't handle that amount. Alright, I see. But you know, it could just be a generous safety measure in case avatars actually jump into water. Maybe they can potentially take even more water than that. Da, da, da. That may be, but we can't test this now, can we? That's true. Anyway, my point stands that instant mana avatars are just way too fragile for most serious applications. Come on, not all applications require high water resistancy. If it were just that, did you ever try to lift her? What? I never dared to do that. I sort of expected that. That's why I invited someone to help us out. Hey, Isabel, can you come over here for a second? Hello. Hi. Oh, who's that? Lee! Hi, Lee! I like your horns! Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah, she's another guest on this ship currently. I wonder if she's Carla's daughter or something. So why would you have her involved? To show you how ridiculously light instant matter is. Isabel, would you be so kind and lift the young lady for us? <gasps> Can I do that? Of course you can! Show us how strong you are! Okay! Hi! Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, poor Lee. Lee is so light! Wait! Oh boy, I wasn't aware of that. An avatar should weigh an average of maybe 5 to 10 kilograms at most. Instant matter is extremely light and fragile. It's the trade-off for being quickly constructed. Lee, hi, Lee, wait, bye, why? Lee's getting heavy now. It's okay, you can put her down now. I want to throw her. <laughs> why? Sure, show us some muscle. And go! Awesome! Help! Again! Wait! Oh no, oh no. So you see? Super light, low water resistance, and believe me, any kind of real impact, and it breaks down. Alright, I see what you mean. Still, instant matter does have its applications outside of games, doesn't it? Wait! Why? Of course it has applications, but it will never replace good hard machinery and architecture. You can't build a house with instant matter and expect to live in it. It would break down easily. <laughs> Again! Wait! It works for Crossroads because everything running around the playground is based on instant matter or virtual. 
It's like a theme park made out of styrofoam. I see. Ah, uh, hey, Dee. Lee, you run real fast. Uh. Oh, so either Lee's players in quite good shape or avatars are not down to the player's stamina. It's the latter. You can run for as long as you want and you won't get tired. Anyway, thanks a lot for everything, Lee. And sorry for all the water and throwing. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, please don't hate me. I just wanted to show them how awesome the avatars are. Nice work, then. You really showed them. Oh, was it really that bad for you? Dot, dot, dot. Mm -mm. Well, I'm relieved. It was fun! I can't... I want to throw Lee again! Ooh. Come on, give her a little rest, okay? Oh man, okay, see you later! Hey Lee, I see you're having fun with the crew. Dot dot dot. I'll soon start preparing things to get you back into the playground. It'll take a bit of time, though. It's probably a good idea to log you off in the meantime. Dot dot dot. Before that, though, there is something we should talk about. Huh? Since you know the truth about yourself, you're probably feeling a great deal of uncertainty, correct? Dot dot dot. In particular, about your future. Uh -huh. I, I do not want to give you any false hope. Your current situation is problematic. The only place for Evotars to exist is within Crossworlds without official permission. And this will only last as long as we can keep it secret from instantainment. Da, da, da. This is something we have to change, Lee. Huh? This is our goal, to create a proper place for Evotars. One where you do not have to hide your identity. Sadashi, <gasps> he always envisioned a place like that, even back then. Finding him is just the first step towards our goal. With his help, we might find a way to get there. <gasps> well then, should we call it a day? Mm -hmm. Good night, Lee. Bye! Gotham, why did this happen? She had assistance. Aw, Gotham's cat. Somebody interfered, hacked the environment server. That was bound to happen! The odds were still highly stacked against them. Dot dot dot. This is like the cargo ship all over again. Gotham, you need to stop playing around. Dot dot dot. Understood. For now, continue with the interrogation. We're behind schedule. What interrogation? There you go. Nightmares of my thought. It was just bound to happen. Oh no, deadly pizza. Come on, let's run away. Lee! Lee! Please, run away. There's no point. Waiting for me. Poor Lucas. Good morning, Lee. <gasps> Hi. I hope you rested well. Any new memories? Mm -mm. That I see. Well, then, preparations to go back to the official playground are all finished. We'll have to leave using the teleporter down in the cargo hold. Remember the one where we started? <gasps> mm hmm. Carla should be waiting there for you. Also, I did a few more preparations on my side. How? Well, I moved locations again. <gasps> Why? Just making sure nobody would be able to locate me. I did the same after you completed the Fajra Temple. That's why we had to stay offline for a while longer, remember? <gasps> anyway, things should be less critical since we're out of Vermilion Wasteland. Then again, they most likely have ways to track us in the official playground. Otherwise, they couldn't have dragged us out of the raid like that. I still wonder how exactly they managed to do that. 
Maybe they can read the traces we leave on the game servers. Or maybe it's something very simple, like somebody watching us in-game. Like there was a spy in the guild? <gasps> well, it's all speculation at this point, but we should be careful and watch our surroundings, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, onwards to the teleporter. Okay, so chapter 7 is done. Before we go to the teleporter, I want to check Carla's room again, which I think is on the third floor. Yep, still a mess. One moment, let me add a little shortcut for you. Oh, hey. This will take you right to the teleporter where Carla is waiting. Da da da. How? Hmm? Oh, yes, that sure would have helped back when we had to run through the whole cargo hold, correct? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I did not have the routine to spawn these shortcuts ready back then. Da da da. Okay. Well, thank you for having it now, Sergi. Surprise! I managed to add a proper landmark on the cargo ship. That means from now on you can travel back to the cargo hold whenever you like. <gasps> But better not try to drag along other party members. You're the only player that can enter this place. Da da da. Hey there, girl. Hi. You look pretty well rested. I suppose Suji talked things through with you? Mm-hmm. About time, really. Just so you know, you have all our support. If you ever need a break from that busy playground, feel free to drop by. <gasps> well then, let's get you back among all those other players. Please stand in the middle of the teleporter. Everything ready. Good luck over there, girl. Bye! And we are back in Cross Central. Cool. Here we are. You should now be able to travel to all landmarks within the playground again. <gasps> also, direct link should work again. It's probably a good idea to say hello to your friends again. We've been missing for quite some time. <gasps> Hi! Da da da. Bonjour. Huh? So, suddenly you're back? Huh? It's been what, a week? Da da da. We lost for words, as always. Meet me at the guild headquarters. I want to talk to you in person. <gasps> oh, she seemed angry? Why? Well, you disappeared in the middle of the raid, remember? <gasps> it's probably a good idea to talk to her soon. Mm-hmm. Okay. The first law, back to Ricky Harbor. Which is kind of on the way anyway, but also... Uh... Right, there was the quest I wanted to do about um, checking the four factions, which we really should have done so many episodes ago. Ah, good day. I appreciate your desire to work for us, but you should get your official faction briefing in Secret Central first. Yeah, okay. Like, let's get that out of the way, and are you the guy we talked to for that? Reading Seeker, I see you've completed the introduction to Operation Trackwalker. Thus, you are now also qualified to use your abilities as a Seeker to assist the four factions in their duties. <laughs> They're organizations that secure humanity's survival and prosperity through their special fields of expertise. More detailed information can be accessed in the terminal behind you. Okay. Mm-hmm. For now, you should know that each faction has a subdivision in Rookie Harbor, like in every settlement. To better understand our society and your place in it, you should get introduced to all of them. For this purpose, I will now issue an official assignment. Please accept. Okay, that's the FD, the RHG, the CTC, and the FOA. And yeah, I should have done this so long ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
though the HQ of the CTC is still in excess of their invest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Uh -huh. The Venture Alliance. Represented by the Fall Divers. Okay. The Human Preservation Department is mainly responsible for the protection and discipline, the Ricky Harbor Guard. I think we worked with these guys in Bakikum. Association of Human Advancement sounds familiar. Coastal Trading Coalition and the Amity of Balance is responsible for farming, gathering, and the research of... Okay. Okay. Well, let's go talk to people. Hey. Hi, right, good day, Seeker. Pleased to meet you. My name is Mr. Nomswerk, and I am a humble mediative employee of the local trading association. Hey! Now, as you might have already assumed, the man of my position is always busy brokering business agreements, big and small. Thus, there's always a need for helping hands willing to do some necessary legwork for a generous payment, of course. Just now, I have an unresolved assignment by the pub for a delivery of mixed food ingredients. It requires. Okay, I guess we can do this. Mm-hmm. It's a deal then. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have plenty of raw trading materials, so I'm sure we can just get this. It's just... Which trader do we actually talk to? Because, like, I've seen these around. Just the question of where the heck? Here we go. Okay, so we got um, one fruit set, and we don't have a spice set. Quick check. Gonna see if I can get it from anywhere else. Oh yeah, here's Vermilion Wasteland. By the way, we cannot go back there. Not like we would ever want to. I love how all of these are disconnected because we just hacked our way through that. Anyway. Um, let's check where else we have traders, cause like... Yeah, no good. Okay, let me try, um, Bergen. Cause like, we can get these from practically any trader, trading materials from practically any region. It's like the junk and refined and precious metal. Yeah, we can get one here. And here. Oh yes. Okay. Cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Makes me wonder why we even pay fancy paper pushers like him for just doing some calls anyway. Next time I might just contact those doing the real work myself. <laughs> Alright. So are we gonna have to do four quests for these guys? Cause this sounds way more complex than I thought it would be and I'm not sure if I actually want to do all that when I'm supposed to be talking to Emily. But then again, it's nice to have um, a side quest up after so much main plot we've been doing. I've already gotten the message from our stands fine customer. Good job! Here's your payment. I hope I can count on your future assistance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we visited the ambassador. Now we go to visit. Okay, we just have to visit. We don't have to, like actually take their quests. I wonder if, like, Fall Divers HQ, we've been there. Okay. 
How do I get over there? Here we go. Yeah, this is the place, right? Okay, I guess we gotta... Yeah. Okay, nice meeting some valiant fresh blood around here. Hi! I'd love to do some bonding with a fellow explorer, but right now there's a problem with one of our jobs. Dukas has just finished a detailed geographical survey that's supposed to serve as the basis for future expeditions, but then he had to get jumped by wildlife and lose the storage unit with all the data, that careless klutz. So since you're here, can you help us out with that? A seeker should be more than qualified for that kind of task. Okay, we're doing this. It's an off-road one. Mm-hmm. Awesome, I'll transmit you the alleged location of the whole debacle so you should be able to track the thing down. Just remember to mind your instincts as a seeker and you'll be back here enjoying my company in no time. Okay. Let's go get quests from the other two while we're here. Um, let's see, and uh, both of those... Okay, FOA is here at the markup. And the other one's at the west exit, and then, like, we'll do some easy stuff in Autumn's Rise for them. I wonder if that's it. And if so, how do I reach that? Here we go. And Good day! Do you, by chance, have any sandwiches for sale? Yep, only 2,500 credits. Should I wrap it up for you? 2,500 credits?! Da, 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 da. I gotta go. Why do they always run away? My wares are top notch, right? Da, da, da. I don't think this is the place. Shop? Uh, make it quick. I think I'm gonna close soon and head to the bar. Expensive sandwiches. Okay. Wonder if there's a side quest related to that. Okay, this is the Fruits of Autumn HQ. Yeah, welcome to our garden, Seeker. I'm Nanzana, the chief woodkeeper of this branch. It's always reassuring to have your kind supporting our fruitful endeavors. Hi! In fact, your appearance comes at a fortunate time as we have noticed unrest brewing among the thickets of Autumn's Rise. A sickness has fallen trees in different locations and threatens the balance of the track in the entire region. Would you be able to assist us in stemming it before it can cause widespread harm? Okay. Sure. We're all in at this point, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Excellent. I'll give you some bottles filled with concentrated and fermented juice made from the fruits of our garden. It's proven in the past to have a beneficial effect on the self-regulatory instincts of the track. Use your instincts as a seeker to find the afflicted trees and treat them with the extract. It should suffice to cure the trees at this stage. Take care, young seeker. Alright, last place we need to check. RHG, and it's near the western exit. We've probably already seen it. Rookie Harbor Guard HQ, we have seen it. Alright, cool. Let's go there. So I guess we'll get all that done, and then we'll go to the residences and meet Emily. Hopefully it's not going to be too mad at us. Ah, Seeker graces the plain old city guard with her presence. Got some time off from solving ancient mysteries, do you? Uh, well, we could also use some help here in the city. One of our watchmen at the market called for reinforcements a moment ago. None of those fancy track walking adventures, I suppose, but matters of inner security are not to be taken lightly either, yes? Okay. Mm hmm. It's good to see a young seeker recognize the importance of even mundane tasks. You can find the garden question in the central area of the marketplace near the seeker hub. Ask her about the problem and solve the case. Mm hmm. Okay. And there, we finish the faction in introduction. But, I mean, we are here, so we are going to finish the rest of those. You must be the guard. Okay.
Hey, good day, Seeker. Are you the reinforcements I was promised? Mm -hmm. Finally, we got some really pesky thieves in the market lately, stealing from both the stands and customers. I just saw one committing theft at the stands, but he was gone before I could catch him. I have to remain here and keep watch, so it's up to you to catch him, understand? Mm -hmm. Hey, I saw him running towards the small park in the southeast, so go and get that crook. The park? I'm sorry, what park are we talking about here? To the southeast... Um... That guy? Okay. Hey! Ah! What, what do you want from me? Hi? Dot dot dot. Me! Hi! I see, so you want to arrest me for my crimes? Mm-hmm. Alright, it was only a matter of time, but I just had to earn money somehow for, for here. Let me show you. Yep. My speedy escape! Bye! Seems like they still have not given those average quest NPCs more nuanced responses. Dot dot dot. Well, that's good news for us. Otherwise, doing side quests might be problematic with your limited means of communication. Da, da, da. Yes, I'm sorry. I'll continue working on it now. Okay, this guy saw someone fleeing from the police. Hey! Hello, young lady. Did you also see that unkempt ruffian running through the street like a madman? He was stinking of smoke and looked very suspicious, I tell you. <gasps> So I'm running to the southwest to a dead end by the sea if you want to teach him a lesson. Okay. Think I know where that is. Yeah, it's right here. Hey. Hey! Hey, you again! Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess that's the end of the line then. It's really a shame. That you're so slow! Bye! Uh, really? Really? That means scoundrel ran past here. You must have given them a solid spanking. Good job. Not that that. Still not satisfied? Well, he ran towards Autumn's rise if you want to whip him some more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to Autumn's rise anyway. Now, of course, the question is, where the heck in Autumn's Rise is he? Well, first off... Okay, Pathway 2, Pathway 3, Off-Road 2, Obelisk Lake, Off-Road 1... Okay, okay. And yeah, might as well pick up some more materials while we're here. Here's Pathway 1. Okay. It's not the quiet passage. Off-road one is over here. Uh, oh, there you are! Hey! Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, help me! <laughs> Get one-shotted. Hey! I, I am so sorry, for real this time. Dot, dot, dot. I'm serious, I'm out of smoke bombs anyway, otherwise those damn hedgehogs never would have gotten me. Da, da, da. But maybe they've been sent by the track to show me the error of my ways. This time I'll turn myself in and atone for my crimes, truly. Da, da, da. So, if you will excuse me. You're coming with me. But I was going to come to you anyway, don't you trust me? Sorry, pal, trust is nice and all, but I won't take any more risks from you. Alright, alright, jeez. In any case, thanks, girl. You did great work here. Report back to the chief to get your reward. <laughs> All right, off we go. Cool. Okay, now let's... What is north of here? Normal clearing. Sounds very... Normal? What the heck is here? Wait, does this go to Autumn's Fall? It does! Huh, that's, um, interesting, but also not where we... Wait, there was a landmark there. 
Okay, now we don't need to be there. Okay, pathway two. So how are we supposed to know which tree is the sick one? Cause like, uh, there's a lot of trees here. Is it the one with the green leaves? No? No? Uh? How am I supposed to know trees? Sick tree, okay. Sickness cured. Cool, it looks like a tree, because it is one. Okay, but there was something in off-road one. It was the missing what's The missing, like, storage thingy. Loose rock. Hello. Get one shot of. Okay, got the geo data 3469. Now I think there's another tree in off road too. Let's see if we can. the other two? Pathway 3 and Old Obelisk? Hey trees! Which one of you is sick? Is it this one with the apples? No. Is it this one with the sickly looking apples? No. First off, let me make sure I'm in the right place. Okay, there's one in Pathway 3, and then east of Obelisk Lake, which... Well, let's get the one in Pathway 3 first. Sick tree, sick tree. Don't know which tree it is. Wish I had something that could help me tell that. Because it turns out that there are a lot of hecking trees here. Maybe it's that one. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's... Why are there so many damn trees here? This tree? Is it this tree? No. What the heck tree is that? Mm. Okay. Pathway three, which is where we are. Side. This is what I have condemned myself to doing today. Sick tree? There! Alright, now let's go get the last sick tree. over by Obelisk Lake. It said it was east of Obelisk Lake, so like... Does that mean it's one of these? Hmm. 
This is East of Obelisk Lake, all right. Is it this tree? No. Is it that tree? It looks like it might be that tree. Okay, how do I get to that tree? No, really, how do I get to that tree? <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting to that tree, because it looks like there's also, like... Can't jump on the old obelisk. So, like, I need to get over here somehow, but... How? How get? How get to tree? I'm missing something stupid and simple, and when I finally find it, I'm going to slap myself in the face. There's another way over from Pathway 3. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, okay, it's one I was literally on earlier. Ugh, bleh. I'm so good at this game. Alright, come on. Get cured. and turn all that stuff in. Got your thing. Your effort should have quelled the threat to Autumn's Rise. You have our deepest thanks. May we continue to preserve the harmony on this world together. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm not doing your next quest. And then the guard house, which was over here. Yeah, you did a fine job out there for a rookie. In any case, you're welcome to help us out again in the future. The Rookie Harbor Guard is always busy. The rewards for these are absolutely not worth it at this point in the game, and I should not have bothered, but it was bothering me that we hadn't done this, so... Yeah. Welcome back! I see retrieving the data went off without a hitch. Mm-hmm. Great job! Hopefully that'll stop Tukas from moping around. He's a great scout when he isn't a reckless airhead. He shouldn't be down over some lame misstep. Anyway, take this reward. I hope to see you around for future endeavors or quality time. There! 
And let's go back to Quest Hub and turn in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. I hope you now understand how you can help humanity besides solving the track of the ancients. Mm -hmm. And remember that they might have new tasks available as time goes on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Bunch of junk that I have no interest in. And then it's just level 13 quests from these guys. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Time check! Oh yeah, we've gone overboard. Alright, see you tomorrow.